Ciao a tutti! So we are here today because I'm going to cook something else. So today is going to be what in Italian is called torta di verdure alla genovese. So it's a kind of vegetable tart uh, in the style of Genova, how they do it in Genova, which is a, a city in, in, in the north of Italy, in Liguria. And so this, these are the ingredients. And we're going to use olive oil, we're going to use eggs, salt, pepper, a mix of herbs. These are the organic herbs that I usually use. That's my mint that I dried uh, recently. And then we're going to use Parmigiano Reggiano, grated, and uh, the pork rinds. This is going to be needed for the breading. And then fagiolini, <coughs> green beans, and celeriac. This one replaces the potatoes. Normally this will be with potatoes. And to make a keto we're going to use celeriac. So we're going to do the vegetables first. Uh, the fagiolini need to be uh, boiled. Um, not for too long, they still need to be not crunchy, but a little, there needs to be a little uh, bit of texture, they should be melting. And uh, this is going to be boiled as well, cut into smaller pieces and then uh, boiled. And then we assemble everything, so all the ingredients are going to be assembled, um, we'll see. Okay, so that's something that was missing, was an onion. I need to chop it fine and then put it in the, into the mix. And why did you forget the onion? Because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to put this in a, in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and just let it um, brown a little bit very quickly because the other stuff is already cooked, this one isn't, so I'm bringing it up to the same level. Okay, so that's the color I want. In the, a little bit brownish, but not all, but shiny. That's a... Uh, translucent. Translucent, yeah, shiny. And now I'm going to add three eggs. Okay, so here we have the Parmigiano Reggiano that I grated. So I'm going to add to the mix. Not all of it, because we want to see how the mix gets uh, what's the, the texture that it gets to. We want something that is quite 
not hard of course but uh, consistent it, it, it stays well together so I just add it a little bit at a time and mix it in okay so we're going to put olive oil and we're going to bread the bottom of it just to spread it like this use my fingers to get it also on the sides we want to cover every side the bottom and the sides so to avoid putting too much uh, of the breading we want a, an even layer of this we just pour a little bit with a spoon and then we just Try to move it on the, on the tray, on all sides. <coughs> and then we can start adding the, the mix. Okay, now it's um, trying to make it even and uh, not too thick. So flatten it really well. We decorate it by doing this. This is kind of typical. And then we have to do it the other way. So we're going to scrape it also in the other direction. Why do you do it like this? Um, I don't know. It's uh, typically made like that. Uh, I think it's more of a decoration effort than uh, Anything else, but it gets crispier. The, the tops get, get of the ridges get crispier. Okay, and the last uh, the last bit is we cover everything with more breading. More breading. So that's the two sides. Uh, normally, uh, in the original recipe, you will put bread and uh, cheese on this. Um, but in, because it's our the keto version, it, cheese is already in the mix anyway, together with the with our breading, our uh, pork breading, and um, so it's it's already okay. Let's try to move it. I'm going I'm going to use a little bit of um, Grana Padano now to complete the coverage because it uh, wasn't entirely enough. So I'm just gonna give it. Uh, a nice bit of grana padano, but I'm gonna add it everywhere. Okay, so um, it's going to go into into a, a pre preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius, and uh, it's gonna be there for roughly 40 minutes. Uh, needs to be checked, but roughly 40 minutes, and uh, the last two to five minutes, we just grill it. We just grill the top. So that it gets nice and crispy. Okay, it's time for the taste test. Yeah. You're the cook, you go well, first. Let's go with the taste. It smells of... really good. Okay. It's still really hot, so I'm gonna take a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so don't blow too hard because it's spraying crumbs everywhere. <laughs> Come on. No, it's pretty good actually. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna have a try. This is what it looks like. You can see. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. It's perfect. <laughs> it actually tastes like. Excuse me. It actually tastes like it has some potatoes in it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Yay! <laughs> so we have managed to keto fire another recipe. And yeah. by we, I mean you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll see us again next time. Bye.